assalamu alaikum before this video we discussed what is transposition what are the types of transposition and what are the rules of simple transposition i have given the link of that video in the description and in the i button above you can check that video so in this video we will discuss how is toric transposition done and what are the uses of toric transposition toric transposition it is done in optical labs to choose correct power of spectacle or contact lenses and number 2 to choose proper lens curvature toric transposition is done in toric powers or we can say in toric lenses and these toric lenses are used in glasses contact lenses and iol to correct astigmatism there are various rules to calculate the final trans uh, to calculate the final toric transposition result as we saw in simple transposition and the final toric transposition result is uh, sphere minus bc bc means base curve or we call we also called this new sphere and in the denominator we have base curve with opposite axes and base curve plus cylinder with axes so to know the final toric uh, transposition result it is mandatory to know what is base curve base curve it is the radius of curvature of front surface of lens in spectacles and radius of curvature of back surface in contact lenses front surface in spectacles and back surface in contact lenses and there is a formula for calculation of base curve base curve is equal to 337.5 divided by d and what is d d is the dioptric value of average keratometry reading so how can we calculate the d d is equal to k1 plus k2 divided by 2 and this k1 and k2 these are the keratometry readings for example if k1 is equal to 44 and k2 is equal to 46 now what is the average value of k or what will be the value of d that is equal to 44 plus 46 divided by 2 that is equal to 45 now the base curve will be equal to 337.5 divided by d as per the formula so the base curve will be equal to 337.5 and d we have calculated that is 45 and that will be equal to 7.5 so the base curve according to this formula that we have calculated that is 7.5 and this base curve is important for calculation of the final results of the toric transposition so after calculation of base curve we will go to the rules of toric transposition number first is do the simple transposition if the cylinder sign of prescription and base curve is not same we have discussed the simple transposition in the previous video and as i already told you that i have given a link of that video in the description and in the i button above so you can watch that video and number second rule is the calculation of new sphere and this new sphere is equal to old sphere of prescription minus base curve with sign number third rule is base curve with opposite axes of the cylinder power in prescription number four is calculation of new cylinder and this new cylinder is equal to base curve sphere plus 
cylinder with the same axis and knowing these rules we can finally calculate the toric transposition as per the formula we'll know these rules by some examples to make it easy so for example if we have a prescription like plus 2 diopter spherical with minus 3 diopter cylindrical 90 degree and if we take the base curve in this case as plus 6 so according to the first rule of toric transposition it says simple transpose if the cylinder sign of prescription and base curve sign is not same so if we see here the sign of the cylinder is minus and sign of the base curve is plus so according to the rule of toric transposition we have to do the simple transposition here so after simple transposition it will become minus 1 diopter spherical with plus 3 diopter cylindrical 180 and I already told you that I have given the link of the simple transposition video in the description and in the i button you can check that video so our final result becomes minus one diopter spherical with plus three diopter cylindrical 180 after simple transposition now if we go to the second rule of toric transposition it says cal calculate the new sphere and that new sphere is equal to old sphere of prescription minus base curve sphere with sign so if we see what will be the new sphere new sphere is equal to old sphere that is this one after simple transposition is minus one with minus a base curve sphere with sign base curve with sign is plus six so this will be minus one minus into plus that will be minus six so this is equal to minus seven so our new sphere becomes minus seven we have to remember this because we need this in the formula to calculate the final result of the toric transposition now the third step of toric transposition is take the base curve with opposite axis of the cylindrical power in a prescription so if we see the prescription our prescription is minus 1 diopter spherical with plus 380 so we have to take the base curve with opposite axis of the cylindrical power in prescription so third step is base curve is plus 6 opposite axis of the cylindrical power in prescription our axis of the cylinder power is 180 and opposite of 180 is 90 so this will be the base curve with opposite axis of the cylindrical power in prescription now going to the fourth point or fourth rule of the toric transposition calculation of new cylinder and that new cylinder is equal to base curve sphere plus cylinder with the same axis so our new cylinder will be equal to base curve sphere that is plus 6 plus cylinder with same axis which is present in the prescription cylinder in the prescription is plus 3 and axis is 180 will be plus 3 180 so new cylinder equal to plus 6 plus into plus that will be plus 3 180 so 
so new cylinder will be equal to plus 9 180 so we have calculated new sphere we have calculated the new cylinder and we have calculated the base curve with the opposite axis of the cylinder in the prescription now the last step is calculation of toric transposition and that toric transposition is equal to sphere minus base curve or which we have calculated as the new sphere and in the denominator we will be having base curve with opposite axis and uh, with base curve plus cylinder with the axis so if we see what will be the toric transposition of the same prescription so the final toric transposition result will be new sphere that is minus 7 in the denominator we will be having base curve with the opposite axis that we have calculated this one plus 6 90 degree the base curve plus cylinder with the same axis that we also called as the new cylinder that we have calculated that is plus 980 degree so the final toric transposition result of this prescription is in the numerator minus 7 and in the denominator we will be having plus 690 degree with plus 980 degree so let's take another example to make things easier to understand for example if we have the prescription plus 2 diopter spherical with plus 1 diopter cylindrical 90 degree and we take the base curve in this case as plus 7 so according to the first step or first rule do the simple transposition if cylinder sign and the base curve sign is not same but here we see the sign of the base curve and the cylinder is same so no need to do the simple transposition going to the next step we have to calculate the new sphere the new sphere is equal to old sphere of prescription minus base curve sphere with sign so the new sphere will be equal to old sphere that is plus 2 minus base curve with sign that is plus 7 so will be equal to plus 2 minus 7 which is equal to minus 5 so our new sphere is minus 5 now coming to the third step take the base curve with opposite axis of the cylindrical power in prescription the axis in axis of the cylindrical power in prescription is 90 so we have to take the base curve it's plus 7 with the opposite axis of the cylindrical power that is 180 degree and now coming to the third point that is calculation of new cylinder new cylinder is equal to base curve sphere that is plus 7 plus cylinder in the prescription with the same axis plus 1 90 degree so new cylinder will be plus 7 plus 1 90 degree that is plus 8 90 degree now if we see the final toric uh, transposition result that will be equal to sphere minus base curve 
or we also called that new sphere new sphere we have calculated that is minus 5 and in the denominator we will be having base curve with opposite axis that is this one plus 7 180 degree with the base curve with cylindrical axis that we also called as the new cylinder and this is plus 8 90 degree so the final toric transposition of this prescription is minus 5 in the denominator we have plus 780 degree and plus 8 90 degree so I hope you might have got the idea about the toric transposition if you found this video useful kindly like and share the video thank you